So we're gonna talk about AGL now, and I don't think it makes sense to talk about his his SSR. I don't think so, because he awakens the same day. Yeah, July 30th of 2019. And then we have uh, July 3rd, 2019 for the awakening. So we're not gonna talk about the SSR, so thank God. <laughs> Cut something off that I need to talk about. Okay, uh what do we have here with Nail? I think he comes out on physical Piccolo's banner as a banner unit. He in fact does. Yeah, he comes out on Dokkan as Piccolo's uh, banner. Yeah, if I do remember correctly, and then of course it just shows. Okay, um, now what do we talk about here with Nail? So let's talk about his pre EZA. So Nail comes out during the Legendary Goku event meta, and he comes out as a very good card for the LGE meta because of course this guy is stacking defense mainly, and he's also stacking attack. So him stacking attack and defense, more so defense, makes him a strong option for the Legendary Goku event because it is a long event. And if you have a stacker inside a long event, they're going to be a good unit for that of that meta because, I mean, everybody was saying back then, do they stack? Yes, they're good. They don't. Unless you're a select few units that were just strong defensively throughout, you would make it through. But even if then, there weren't too many options that were, like, strong to run for the Legendary Goku event that weren't stacking, if that makes sense. So, um, let's talk about Nail. So, Nail was good for the Legendary Goku event meta, and he comes out July 30th of 2019 on JP. And January 6th of 2020 on Global. So, his leader skill, of course, pre EZA. Of course, we want to speak about it. His pre EZA uh, leader skill is 3 key and 150% of the stats to Namekians. And his super attack, he stacks attack and defense and does supreme damage to enemy, while his super attack name is Mystic Flash. His passive, that being beliefs of the Namekians, he gets 100% attack and defense at the start of turn, and he gets an additional 100% attack and defense and 10% damage reduction up to 77%. The less HP remain, the greater the reduction when there's a Piccolo on the team. And he launches a guaranteed super and his attacks become guaranteed crits when facing a wicked bloodline enemy. So of course, because Nail uh, going up against Frieza, I mean, it just makes a whole lot of sense. And his Link set, Namekians, Cold Judgment, Hero, Supreme Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle. And back then when he had first came out, he of course did not have Connected Hope. So it was only just Namekians and Plan Anime Saga. So him being on only two categories the only team you could realistically run this guy on back then when he had first came out was on dokkan fest piccolo's leader skill that being the mechians and back then there was a, still a, a severe lack of options and i will argue now there aren't many options for you to run on the mechians the mechians absolutely needs a lot of help for sure so uh with that being said what made Nail good for his uh, pre EZA back during the Legendary Goku event that is the fact that he is a stacker and he could get this damage reduction. And that could be a very strong ability for him to have when running him against the Legendary Goku event. Not to mention that Dokkan Vest Piccolo is stacking defense. So these two on a rotation with one another, and it's pretty much curtains for uh, for the Legendary Goku event. Yes, you because know, this guy stacking defense in his pre EZA. And then this guy goes ahead and he fuses, and he's just. He's just a god against UI back then. So yes, um, stacking. Yeah, class, we understand. Stacking, strong for 2019. If you didn't stack and uh, you weren't one of those strong um, defensive units that were able to withstand STR and UI Goku's attacks, then you would just fodder, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, um, damage reduction buildup with, uh, of course, HP restrictions. And stacking, attack, and defense made him a strong option for the Legendary Goku, man. More so the stacking, attack, and defense. But the only thing is that you had to run him with, with uh, Piccolo, right? Yeah. I don't know. I was thinking of another character. I was thinking of Popo. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Popo. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I like that. I just leave all my messes. You know, there's no word. We're not even just going to edit out. Just keep it like, you know, keep it nice and organic. So, uh, whoa, he's greatly stacking attacking. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about Nail's uh, post easy. All right. So his leader skill, of course, is buffed up from 3 key and 150% of the stats to 3 key and 170% of the stats. He is now greatly stacking attack and defense. Okay. And he starts out with 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Nice. And he launches an additional attack that has a 70% chance to become a super attack, which is obviously nice to have on him because he's just greatly stacking attack and defense. It's good. Uh, and he also gets an additional 150% attack and defense for three turns from character's entry turns. So that's going to help him start out with a moderately high attack and defensive buff. And he also gets an additional 150% attack and defense and 30% damage reduction up to 77%. The less HP remaining, the greater the, the damage reduction. 
when there is another Namekians category ally on the team. So I like the fact that he doesn't have to have a Piccolo, so to say. But even if then, who is the best uh, Namekians character? Um, man. <laughs> Yo, can we just start by saying, why does this team not have a 200%? It's like Lord Slug, could could he get a Dokkan Fest? I don't I don't see why not. He can get one, one of those monthly Dokkan Fest. Lord Slug could get a Dokkan Fest or maybe in a free-to-play LR, like a strong prime out of LR. I, I, I don't see why not. Um, you know, Maybe we can get a new Dokkan Fest Piccolo? Because there's like 30 different versions of Piccolo. No, we can, we can squeeze that in there, right, Dokkan? Yeah, this category is just not all the craziest. Just not all the craziest. Okay, um, anyways, back on over to this uh, nail, and all allies get two key and 50% attack and defense when there is an ally whose name is Piccolo on the team, so that's, that's very easy to go, so you just run a Piccolo, and you can get uh, additional attack and defensive buff as well as damage reduction, of course, depending on your HP remaining, and support, yeah, and he launches a guaranteed super, and get, and of course, he gets guaranteed crits when he's going up against a Wicked Bloodline, or a planned Nemesog category enemy, so... They added a couple things to them that I do like. I like that they added a unrestricted additional super attack chance. I like that they started with more attack and defense for the first three turns for him to not be a sitting duck within those first couple of turns. I do like the fact that they did reward you more for having a Piccolo on the team. It's like, the Namekians, you're still going to be running a goddamn Piccolo, right? Because, of course, it's like, it's just Power Awakening Piccolo. It's like Power Awakening Piccolo, Nail. I mean, are you running Dokkan Fest Piccolo? You're probably not going to run Dokkan Fest Piccolo. Are you? Because he has a stack. He, but doesn't... It's like if he can get... Hmm. I don't know. Let me actually see him real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like cool. He's foreseeing enemy super attacks. But then like he just... Yeah, he has nothing. He This guy has nothing to his name until he gets to his, his post-fusion. Yeah. So it's all on this guy. Let me see his stats. It's not bad, of course. But, yeah, it's all on this guy. It's like, maybe Dokkan Fest Piccolo. You have Nail. Um, This category is so ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, we do have you guys. Absolutely. We could run you guys. Yeah. And could we potentially squeeze a spot on you for Connected Hope? I don't see why not. For the trio's team. You know, it's crazy. Actually, now that I think about it, could Nail be ran... Wait, are they Connected Hope Leader Skill? I don't, wow, I don't remember. Oh my god, my brain is so shot right now. Uh, but anyways, um, I do like what they did with him, for sure. Yeah. Only thing is that you have to run like a Piccolo. It's like you just have to. Yeah, that's the only thing. And the Piccolo you're going to most likely run is this, this, these guys. Yeah, you're running these guys. Absolutely. Oh, pos positively. Yeah. For sure. Let's run, run, let's run this guy or Power Awakening Piccolo. But even if then, I don't know. Yeah, you're going to run these guys. 100%. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to run these guys. And you guys are a Connected Hope leader skill, right? I'm just double checking things because I don't completely remember. Um, no, not you guys. Oh, my God. No, they aren't a Connected Hope leader skill. Okay, wow. Um, No, they're not. But is it? Is it crazy that you could probably run Double Tech Gogeta? Yo, my brain is so shot today. <laughs> so, um, uh, Dokkan Fest. I'm not Dokkan Fest. Uh, I was thinking about Dokkan Fest Piccolo. Uh, for Nail. <laughs> Greatly stacking attack and teams. <laughs> this fucking video is so, so botched. But, um, Nail is looking definitely a lot more better. I like that he's stacking. He's greatly stacking attack and defense. I like that he has unrestricted super attack chance. I like that they give him more of an attack and defensive buff from the fall back on while he's going to go ahead and just building up his attack and defense regardless. Um, I like that they went ahead and rewarded you a bit more for having a Piccolo on the team. And this is just going to be the cherry on top right over here. Um, does he, does he deserve more? I don't know. Yeah, let's go and see his 200% leaders because he's on. All right. Um, he's on no 200% leaders because, wow. Wow. Yeah, no. Wow. Okay. Is this guy a bum? <laughs> I mean, you do have this Piccolo. But the only problem is that they're not on the Mechians. They're not. Because you have Gohan in the name. Yeah, because it's right over here. It's like for playing Nemesis characters, yeah. 
Yeah. Is Piccolo in the name? He is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going slash Piccolo. I am tripping. It's this card you would run. Okay. Wait, so no, this guy is actually... Yeah, then you can run this guy on Plan Amasaga. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so he does have a spot. But the only issue is that he's not on Vegeta's 200% leader skill. Yeah. So there is technically a spot. So now's all right. Now's all right. But that's granted that you pull these guys. It's like, yeah, it's like you gotta run. You gotta run Gohan in front of the nail. Yeah, you do. Because outside of like Dokkan Fast Piccolo, which you're not running because he's not stacking up his defense fast enough. Um, who else are you running? Power Awakening Piccolo? I mean, if you want to fit him on like a double tech Gogeta 170% lead leader skill. Is it 170%? I don't exactly remember. But yeah, I'm thinking way too much about this. Okay, so that's going to be about it. Um, what's the problem with this guy? A uh, lack of categories. Um, Link set is very awkward. It's like he's, of course, he's going to be an, um, he's not a mech and a cold judgment is nice. Shocking speed, of course, is nice. Um, but it's like he's definitely locked to playing Namasaga. Absolutely. He's absolutely locked to playing Namasaga because you want to run with the, with this guy. And that's granted that you uh, pull this guy specifically. Yeah. So that's going to be about it. Yeah, and this guy's obviously great. The go on solid. The Piccolo is amazing. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Join, join us for seven Discord server. Link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. Wow, this video was so botched. I am uh, sorry, guys. I was just completely overthinking it. But hey, hey, we grow together. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Leave a like, subscribe, and you enjoyed the video. And peace.